B. Us. N. Burp, burp, burp. Welcome everybody to a discussion over the newly announced Overwatch 2 coming to be announced. Um, today at BlizzCon, we were announced Overwatch 2 as expected from all the previous leaks. All the information that was leaked did seem to be true. As 100% we got, true. We got a great game unveiled. Um, I'm here with Bander. Well, we don't know if it's great yet. Well, we don't know if it, lo it looks great. We don't even know if we could call it a game. <laughs> here we go. Anyways, what we are announced today is three. Are we? <laughs> I'm here with my pal Bander, and I am Count to Cow. And us. Um, what was announced today are three new parts of this game called Overwatch 2. We have a whole new engine from what they call it with a different look of the game. Um, it looks like it, they're a little bit. No, older. no, no. Let's. Let... <laughs> okay, let's 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 push let's, back a little bit. Let's let's back it up here. Let's back uh, it up. Do you want do, do you want me to do you want me to do the explanation of what's new? You 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 go right ahead. So juggling juggling the the different discussions that have been happening on the internet, uh, as well as the announcement videos, as well as the the interviews and the questions that they've been given, we can kind of speculate and determine a few things about the game. For the most part, this is an expansion to the original Overwatch game. I wouldn't necessarily call this a brand new game because it is more or less a PVE update uh, that it's sort of being marketed as a new game. You can't really blame them for that. That that makes sense. But I but I firmly believe that this is considered more of an expansion. In fact, I think Kaplan actually said that this was an expansion, or to think of it as an expansion, if you're a more hardcore fan. But to the the layman, uh, the Joey's of the world, this is an, this is this is a sequel. Um, it's called Overwatch Two, uh, similar to Fortnite Part Two, I guess, or Chapter Two, whatever it was called. Um, which I think I guess makes sense. I would have preferred something a little bit different. But it is essentially the story mode campaign coming to Overwatch as a PvE, cooperative PvE experience. And it is not a new engine, it is an upgraded version of the old engine, specifically upgraded for the PvE segments. The original engine, uh, I believe, is still more or less being used, or um, uh, uh, some upgrades are going into that as well. Uh, but the the, the big part with the PvE section is that the players from the original version of Overwatch are being brought into this new version of Overwatch so that everything is unified onto one system so that the player base is on split. So if you're an old player of Overwatch, you don't have to buy the new version in order to keep playing. You'll still get to play all the same maps, same characters, as well as all the new maps and the new characters. The only thing you have to pay for is for the PvE stuff and potentially skins. We don't 100% sure about the, co about the cosmetic stuff. And most um, likely the new game type push. No, 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 no. That's being transferred over. Oh, okay. Yeah, hundred percent. You can't you can't add like a new major game mode without. Well, because it's because push is the part of the Vancouver map, I think, from what we've seen. And uh, yes, or is it right. Toronto? Is it Toronto or Vancouver? Toronto. 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 Um, push is part of the Toronto map, and it is essentially the fourth game mode to Overwatch. Fourth. One, two, three. Fifth. I mean, there's Fifth a lot of different. Okay, yeah. There's there's assault. There's hybrid. There's, um, the king of the hill thing, and then there's, uh, payload push or payload, and now push. So it's five five game modes now. Uh, and push looks really. Let's just start with push. Why don't we start with PvP stuff, uh, Dylan, and start okay. with your thoughts on push, the new game mode. So I like first off, just seeing it off the start. I really liked it. There's, there's this, like, big, cool-looking mech in the center of the map that each team is duking it out to take control over. He moves really quick, which is really nice. Like, I was I was thinking, like, oh, God, if this is going to be payload speed, it's going to be a problem. It, games are going to be horrendous. But he moves pretty quick. So, if I mean, from what it looked like, it looked really cool. Um, the idea and the thought of it, I really like. Um, it would be interesting how it, how it plays out within the team meta because i think we're going to see a lot of new strategies um no you know, i don't think so i don't think there'll be that many i mean I don't think there's no i mean we're, we're not going to be seeing as much double tank possibly or double shield tank maybe um a little bit more 
movable quick characters maybe i don't know i'm just talking on my ass but i really I think, like it i don't think there'll be any new strategies for this they'll probably go with assault that's what they'll probably do i what i will say though this game type will be <laughs> really really fun in the previous like the previous quick play the classic quick play i think this that would be a lot of fun yeah um joey stop calling me um yeah i think that uh I'm, I'm interested to see how it goes i think from what we can tell it'll probably be a the robot goes back and forth pushing towards the different sides and as you push closer towards the enemy side they'll gain an advantage in terms of spawn right so it'll be easy for them to get it back uh if you push it all the way into the enemy spawn i'm assuming you win but then there's also that by the at the end of time whoever's whichever side it's closer towards uh is the winner or is the loser so I, I think that's how it works. Right? Right. Right. Makes sense. Um, on top of that, there are there's some new maps as well. I think um, there's a Swedish map. Uh, and two other maps. I think one of them is India, from what I could tell. And then there's one more that was like a water... That had a big, big, big like harbor in it that I couldn't tell what it was. Maybe Rio. But it didn't look very Rio-like. So I don't know. But of course, Overwatch cities look different than um oh no it's toronto gothenburg and monte carlo toronto gothenburg and monte carlo yes. monte carlo yeah where's monte carlo is that in france um good question look it up for me real quick i thought they kind of showed off four maps because there was definitely like a like an, an india look looking map they should make a Hong Kong map. <laughs> uh, that'd be interesting. That'd be uh, that'd be quite a thing. Um, then they announced a new character coming to the coming to Overwatch, Sojourn, who was featured so, in the hmm? update. Monaco is its own country in France. It's a, it's a state of France. But they're independent. So it's in Monaco. Well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that, that, okay, cool. Um, we have Sojourn, who was featured in the most recent uh, Overwatch Archives event. And she looks to be damaged, from what I can tell. Are you talking about the new soldier character? Sojourn. Sojourn. She looks really cool. She makes she reminds me of a mix of like Lucio and Sombra. I feel like she has uh, is more of a mixture between Farrah, Tracer and Soldier. <laughs> I don't know where you're getting Sombra and Lucio from. Her skin color? No, her hair. Um, Joey, we started recording a video. Mm, okay. Do you want to be part of it? We're doing like an Overwatch discussion. How much have you done already? Like five minutes. Mm, how long are you guys gonna be doing it for? Probably ten more minutes. Hop in, give us your opinions. Dylan announce uh, our friend in the, into the video. He did what? Announce our friend into the video, Dylan. Oh, okay. We have a new incomer calling in to the discussion tonight. Our buddy. Baka has arrived. No, no. Spoy, Spoy is here. Spoy, he leaves the conversation. Um, so right. we were just we were just talking about the new character Sojourn, and, and we think she's we think she's damaged. Uh, but uh, Dylan, so Dylan, when I said uh, like like you, you were talking about appearance wise, as far as Sombra and Lucio, right? <laughs> Correct. Okay, I was talking about her her play style from what we've seen from her moving around. Uh, I could see her being a tank. I don't. I don't think she's a tank. I think she's. I could see her being a tank. Ooh, that would be interesting. I think she. I think she's shown shown clear elements of of damage, and maybe support. I don't know what where where where's the tank coming from. I hey, I, just, I see her being don't... a tank. Watch it be a shock. Well, don't, just go, don't because she has she has an assault rifle. She has some sort of like pocket rocket. 
She has like what a jump. A sh- what if it's a shotgun? Ooh. That doesn't mean tank. That means damage. That would not mean tank. What, um, if, it's, what if it's a tanky shotgun? Like Roadhog. Don't, don't 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 assume her role. I I I, I I'm I'm gonna speculate and say she's not she's not gonna be a tank. Okay. okay. Anyways, anyways. We can let's, we can, let's continue. We can also assume continue. that Echo is also gonna be coming to the to the uh to the game very quickly. She was featured in the uh gameplay trailer flying the ship as well as the cinematic. Uh I Echo, have a feeling she'd be coming into the game after the McCree cinematic. After she was revealed as a part of Overwatch? Yes. She's always been around in like a, the original um, concept art stuff, uh, and she she's definitely support. <laughs> I could see that being a thing. She's got a she's got a a a, a, a medical cross on her forehead. Uh, that could just mean her religion. You never know. Let's not assume things. Okay. Okay. Um, there's some new HUD stuff. Uh, definitely seems to be a little bit a little bit uh, of a graphical update as well. Other than that, nothing too crazy happening with the PvP side of things. I think they'll they'll probably have more to say along as they as they go along. We're still in day one of BlizzCon here. Right. Um, Plenty of time to come out with some more uh, updates. Yeah. Um, I was just Joey. I was just saying um, that we've determined that this is more or less an expansion to the original Overwatch, mm. and that the up and that the the engine stuff is an upgraded version of the original engine specifically for the pve stuff because everyone has been discussing about how the original overwatch engine did not allow for massive pve style levels um that's why we've got so few and that these this new upgrade is allowing them to create better pve experiences which let's get into pve stuff anyways we got a awesome intro to the story mode that we're going to be playing now what they did say is that there's going to be a story mission as well as replayable hero missions um they said that the hero missions were going to be pretty unique to which you can obviously keep replaying them but the story looked extremely extremely nice um there was a bunch of small references that were really really awesome to see um and personally i'm really looking forward to it I think it's going to be fun to play alongside you guys. And from the demos of what I've seen, the gameplay of it, it looks really cool. It looks very um, intuitive in which there's situations that you'll come across um, or there's bosses. And the map layouts look great. It looks very beautiful. It looks very pretty. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say about it. Well, that's a good, that's a definite good description of your opinion of the game. Those, those are those are words. Those are words. They were descriptive words. <laughs> I'm not sure if if I was listening to this, I would actually be able to understand what what it was. But <laughs> there is someone out there that could interpret it, and you know what? He'll put it in. Why are you guys? Why are you guys being mean? I I was saying you have a good opinion. I was just playing along with what Joe had to add. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if there are separate mission i think i think from from what it looked to me like when they were all in uh watch point gibraltar looking at the map there was a bunch of different missions that you could select and from what it seems to me like there are different story elements with different characters by going mm-hmm. to the different missions and then i think beyond that you can replay the missions with different with probably different heroes and stuff like that that to me seems like the direction they're going is that it's a is a is a a campaign bunch of different missions there was a story going on things will things will actually happen in this story and then the the tons of replayability part they added was them showing that you can replay the missions and that there'll be different there may be different things that'll happen maybe there'll be like halo, halo skulls that'll change how things work in the game and then beyond that there's the upgrades to the characters which for one thing can i just say i was very worried that this was going to be a Overwatch as a whole thing, this leveling up your characters, which if they had done that for PvP, Overwatch would literally die as a PvP game. There's no way that would have worked. So I'm glad it's just yeah, PvE. Teams could be stacked against each other. Well, know, it's just fair. well, it's it's just Overwatch is kind of designed to be kind of easier to pick up as a newer player. Um, I mean, I guess originally, but now there's so many characters. 
And if they were to add different move sets on top of that, first off, it'd be impossible to balance all that. Like uh, like Smash Four custom moves. Mm, right. <laughs> oh, God. So I'm glad this is a PV, PVE thing. And from what looks like, there are some some really cool stuff. Reinhardt's hammer move looked awesome. May had the the multi freeze. They showed off a new Hanzo one where he used the sonar arrow to see three people between walls, and it basically highlighted them. And then another arrow would basically yondu snipe all of them. Yeah. And it was awesome looking. It was it was it was so cool. So these these are really cool. And there's unique voice lines for all of them too, which is awesome. The levels themselves, I think, take place on already established maps, which I assume are going to be a little bit upgraded to become a little bit bigger, more expanded upon uh, versus just the maps you're used to. But they are still going through those maps as they were. Um, so I think this will be a little bit more, a little more complex of a level than what we're used to with the archive missions. Which is very exciting. There are cutscenes in between in the levels themselves, so you get you know starting cutscenes midway through and, and and whatnot. So there's a lot of a lot more focus on an actual story and things actually happening, which is very exciting. I'm a sucker um, for cutscenes. Yeah. Uh, what else was there? The upgrades. Let's the... let Joey talk. Let Joey talk. Well, I'm just explaining, trying trying to make sure we we go over everything that we've. We, we've seen you guys are doing great i'm just here to support and agree what is your joe how, how do you feel about the whole thing about the whole um, about pve it looks like it's about pve or the whole thing about pve i haven't really wrapped my mind around that part yet i'm still taking in you know the new maps the new heroes the new game modes um I don't know. I really haven't indulged into it as much as you guys have. I've just really looked at the trailers. Okay. Um, I'm I'm excited, but I'm also I I, I want to see a full mission being played before I can really like say I'm say All which board. way which way I'm leaning towards because I well, you know you I can and you you should. What? They already have the first the first level out. You can watch it. Did they, did they release gameplay? I haven't seen that though. Yeah, they had people streaming there, playing. Mm -hmm. you, you could play the new push game type, and you could play the first level of, of um, campaign. Okay, I'll take a look at that. Um, because I, it, it, in my head, I want, I, I would love to see fully from the ground up designed levels for this. Um, that aren't just like you know taking the multiplayer maps and and using those. Obviously, you know maps and all that stuff take a lot of you know time to work with. But if they are really expanding upon the maps and so you're going beyond just your the the beginning of of like a a payload map so you're going even further into the game um that would be very nice to see because i'm okay with going to levels we're used to but i want to see more than just the level um and yeah i hope that uh the story is uh has a fairly definitive start and finish like it finishes in a spot where like that feels you know compelling and you know very interesting um because we've been kind of left we we basically haven't progressed the story at all since basically recall um everything has been kind of past events and stuff like that setting up the characters mm -hmm. uh everything except for like the may cinematic and like the reinhardt cinematic and the uh uh mccree cinematic those have all slightly pushed the the story forward very slightly. but very small now this is the first cinematic that really kind of got the story going again yeah exactly um so let's talk about the cinematic uh joey you've said you've watched the cinematic over and over again i watched it 12 times since uh it came out i, I it very much i love the new theme oh it was great you mean the part where where uh, Brigitte and um, Reinhardt come in? Yeah, the the theme is also playing during the gameplay trailer. It's just it's really good. It's re I really like it. Um, I'm the type of person that I know gameplay is a big factor, but cinematics really hit home for me. I love when a good cinematic for a game comes out, and this was just beautifully crafted from start to finish well i think I, I think um cinematics are very useful when you know how the gameplay 
pairs with it, and since we know uh-huh. Overwatch, we know Overwatch, so it's not like we need a gameplay. I mean, a gameplay. Obviously, it's important to have gameplay as well for this kind of thing, but you know, just having a cinematic trailer to kind of set you up about what where, where we're going to be in the game is really right. exciting. My only critique yeah. of this of the of this cinematic trailer is that when when the three of them from from as soon as when they started the mission of when Winston jumped down onto yeah. the robots to right before when Genji shows up it was very very quick it it was it was we're here we're re- here to save the day and then they immediately get pinned down and we're like fuck we're going to die and it's just like i don't know i feel like oh. there wasn't there wasn't enough tension between like I mean, you're like, right and you're wrong. They kind of showcased off each of the each of their um, aspects. Like they showed May saving Winston when he was pinned down. They sh- she freezed some of the um, the bots, and then Tracer came in to save her for the second. Right, but, but that yeah, was but that was right a very quick a very quick segment of here we are. We're here to save the day. Blast blast blast. Oh shit! Fucking giant robot. We're done for. And I feel like there wasn't enough tension between when the giant when when they landed and and when they were about to die. Where it's just like, I mean, this doesn't... I don't, I don't really feel the impact of, of someone coming in and saving them. And the fact that Winston, uh, like, when the when the mission started, was like, boy, I sure do miss my friends. And then <laughs> t- 10 seconds later, hey, now, would be a, now would be a great time for them to show up. May's like, do we have enough people for this? And then they land, it's like, oh, God, if only our friends were here to help. And then Winston's about to die, and he's like, May's like, like, help, friends, come save us. And it's just like, it's like, all right. Clearly, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like up until that point, then when the friends actually do show up, it's like, oh, this is cool. They're all interacting with each other. Right. Um, I, think the, I think Genji, the deflection at, at the middle was my favorite part of the entire video. It was just cool. Yeah. Dylan, your thoughts on the Genji. trailer? Dylan, your oh, thoughts on the trailer? The trailer was awesome. I really liked it. Um, I like all. I like how the characters look. I thought it looked very. Um, I also liked the changes to the characters. Mm-hmm. The physical appearance changes. We have we have Genji, wearing some kind of hoodie looking. Cybernetic sweater. hoodie. Apparently, Genji Cybernetic. has been has been naked for the past three years. Apparently so. Apparently, I was <laughs> I was saying it gave me almost like. Spider Verse vibes on Miles, his suit. Miles Morales vibes. Oh yeah, yeah, totally. Um, I think I think all the characters look very very nice, and I am looking forward to playing the campaign with both of you guys. Yeah, Same no, here. I think I think the designs are cool looking. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that they're definitely trying to market this game as more than what they're actually producing but at the same time they well, have we been know yet we don't know we kind of do we don't know 100 percent. they could they could really blow this out of the water I, th- I mean i think they've i mean i think they've they've shown you know what what they're offering i mean they haven't shown a price point yet so obviously you know that kind i mean if it's if they're if they're saying 60 bucks for the new stuff that's a little bit much but if it was right. yeah. you know say closer to the th- 20 30 40 dollar range um and then if you wanted to get um from like to upgrade and then if you wanted to start from scratch um that would be more of a 60 dollar price tag um i think that'd be more appropriate but i was just going to say that that overwatch has been operating at least with me i purchased overwatch when the day it came out for 40 bucks i think no was it 60 it was 60 back then um on console for whatever reason but it was 40 on pc um i think i got mine for 20 yeah, well, because by the time by the time we were able to purchase it, I I, I got well, my no, PC we were version. We Cyber City that night when I bought it. I think it was on sale at the time. Yeah, I bought my PC version for twenty bucks. Mm. Um, if you had been if you've been playing this game from the very beginning, from the original forty dollar purchase on PC, you've you've not been asked to pay anything more for major major content updates. You've been getting characters, maps, events, all that stuff for free since the start of this game so i think it's totally appropriate that they're you know asking for you know uh, more money for the, like more money for this kind of stuff i don't think i definitely think that's totally appropriate and they're saying yeah you get more stuff when you when you sign up for overwatch 2 there's 
there's you know more characters and maps coming obviously um the the pvp only players will get uh all the maps and characters as well but it's still cool Definitely i think they more bang for your buck i think they did this they did this very well in a way that pushes the story forward but still keeps the player bases um connected no, i agree completely the uh, only thing i forgot there's one thing there's one criticism that i wish they would have came out and said um and i don't know if they'll actually will do this but i wish that they said that you that cross progression will be available across all platforms because i feel like that's the one thing that you know going into 2020 is going to be a big thing amongst games uh cross play cross progression cross saves stuff like that um, so I don't like, know about say for you who owns a copy for PS4 and for PC, you would want them to merge it, right? Um, I mean, ideally, yes. I I wouldn't expect that at this point, but I would say I'm that not, like I'm saying for Overwatch Two, I mean though. Well, yeah, like like from Overwatch Two on, if you if you purchase a version of Overwatch Two on a different platform as well as the platform you're currently on, you can you can combine the two saves. That would definitely be nice. It'd be a shame to start over all, all over again. Like I did. <laughs> yeah, so I think... And I think that's something that the, that the game should have at this point. Because that's becoming a standard in, in at this time. Because Call of Duty now does it too. You, and that's an Activision game. Yes, it is. Anyways. Some honorable mentions. They are having... Skins bounce between the games which is nice so although they're not two separate games like joe has mentioned your skins will transfer over from overwatch 1 to overwatch 2 sweet yeah i mean it's cool i think that's um that i think that's just kind of like a <laughs> it would be it would be more work to start from scratch than to transfer things over I think it's a very mutual mutual benefit for everyone. I agree. Mm -hmm. Overall, would you guys rate this out of 10? And uh, give us your final thoughts. Um, well, being that it's only day one, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. And my final thoughts are going to be I like what I've seen. I'm very excited, and I can't wait to see more as time goes on. And what what do you hope to see? Um, what do I hope to see? I don't know. More, uh, more maps. I mean, I know there's already a good handful right now, but I'd like to see different. I do think that this is this is one of the reasons why we haven't seen a new map since. Oh God, what was the last map they sh they revealed? Havana. Havana, yeah. Havana, yeah. That wasn't too long ago. That was in. Was like that was like in February. No, no, no. It was like. Was that really? No, no, no. That's not right. It was when I had Overwatch, so it must have it's, been February. It's more recent than February. Late, late January, early February is New Year's, so that means it would have been April, early April, late March. Uh, I don't know. Somewhere around there. I mean, it. I mean. I feel like they've. I've been. I've been happy with the map selection. Same, yeah, but new is. Also I mean, good. I would be like, happy. I, I, I would be happy. Toronto looks cool. Yeah, Canada deserves some representation. I. I, I mean, yeah, more yeah, maps. Yeah. More maps is always good. I. I would just be happy if they announced that all the maps are coming over. There are no new maps going to be added, and they're just going to delete delete uh, Horizon Lunar Colony. If that's what they did, I'd be happy. Agree. I fucking hate that map. <laughs> Which one? Sorry. Lunar Colony. Oh, I agree. Um, uh, what do you rate out of ten? Uh, I, I think similar to Joey, I'm, a, I'm at a seven. I'm. It, it's a. It's a seven up and down. It, it's like, like I'm up there, but I want to see more. Like, because this is exactly what I asked for. I wanted a, a story mode expansion, and this is a story mode expansion. It's got new stuff. It's gonna. But we're kind of. I'm not sure how well things will translate into uh, a PvE game mode. Um, how much is this? I want 
I want to know that the story is going to be worth it and that the levels themselves are going to be engaging and fun to replay. Because every time the fucking anniversary and the archives event comes around, I'm like, fuck, I gotta do the stupid King's Row thing again. Ugh. And it's just annoying. So I hope that these are a little bit more engaging. And as they said, replayable. But yeah, no, it's it's uh, it's exciting. It's cool. I personally give it a 8.5. I'm being a fanboy. I really like how this looks. I think it'll be fun. I almost got like Halo nostalgia watching this, being like, oh my god, like it's the same kind of style campaign from what it looks like from the gameplay I've seen. Um, as, so I'm looking as, forward to it. As, as Halo? Yeah, where it's kind of like you walk into like a certain area and there's like a little, you know, it's kind of like room based, like a like a like a shooter, like like shooter. a shooter camp shooter campaign, <laughs> like a shooter campaign. Um, but I'm really looking forward to it, and I'm looking forward to seeing more characters and uh, some gameplay as well. Oh, let's do some let's do some predictions real quick. Uh, um, how many char new characters do you think will be available at launch? Three. I was going to say three, too. For what? Sorry. How many new characters do you think will be available at launch? I'm with you, three. You know, I'm going to say four. Two. I'm going to go with four. Joe's going bald! I, I, now I'm thinking about it, I, I, think, I think we're going to get four. I Can think I we're going to get... Someone going to say five? I'm just kidding. Five! I'll take five! I'll make up someone. I think we're... Oh, yeah. No, no. We are. It's going to be five. Here's why. We're going to get Sojourn, obviously confirmed. Echo, not confirmed, but uh, very, very likely. Junker Queen, speculated for a long time. Ooh. Mauga, Baptiste's best friend. Uh, and uh, the the um, evil Omnic that we saw during the last archive event. Okay, that's a good. That was that was pick. talking with Doomfist. Oh, his not his yeah. name isn't Maximilian. Maximilian was the dude we captured. It was a different guy. He had like <laughs> robot dreads. Bumbacrad. I don't know. So yeah, I think five. Um, all right, fair enough. No, I'm gonna stick with three. I think I think there'll be one more at release, and then as time goes on, we'll get more. One for each category. Yes, exactly. So a tank will be the third one. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited. I think this is um, this is what Overwatch needed. I think that, you know, it's Overwatch is a good, really good game. It's a fantastic game. I mean, it deserved its Game of the Year status in 2016. Um, I, but I just think that it really needed something to to change how you think about when you play Overwatch or what you what you do when you play Overwatch and I think this is exactly what was needed <sighs> Dylan your final thoughts my final thoughts are that um I agree with the three with the three characters at launch at least I do think they'll probably be more down the road but well, I will sure. be <laughs> what yes of course um, but I'm just saying at launch, I, I predict there's going to be three. Um, yeah, I kind of gave a, my general review earlier, but I'm really looking forward to it. And it's going to be a good and different take at Overwatch. So I'm looking forward to that. I don't think Blizzard messes around messes around with things like this. I think that they are, they are still Blizzard, regardless of the the over, overlords at, uh, at Blizzard, whatever they want to do politically and uh i think that they'll i think that they'll come through uh i just want to make sure that i'm that what i'm seeing is accurate to what i'm playing before i give them more praise and that's a fair thought on your part you clawing no i just downed a a medium Dr. Pepper from Burger King, spiced with <laughs> spiced with Fireball. Oh my gosh! <laughs> All right, let's play some Overwatch. We've been going too long. Woo!